Good morning, good morning. What's up, Still a Nation? Here we go. Here we go. The Pittsburgh Steelers gone to the Super Bowl. Here we go. 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 The Pittsburgh Steelers gone to the Super Bowl. So, the Steelers has not played since uh, about two weeks. Um, the Tennessee Titans got coronavirus. Uh, well, some of their staff members, I don't know about players, but so they didn't play. So, uh, um, we got the Philadelphia Eagles cross state game. Uh, can't wait to see it. Uh, Eagles look like they got a lot of injuries. We only, I know we only have uh, two, Marcus Allen and and uh, and uh, Watt brother Derek. Uh, Eagles of mission, two of the receivers, uh, Maddox, physical un unable to perform is Hall and Brooks, so. Uh, the Eagles, um, they used to have some pretty good tight ends, Zerps. Um, they got their first win last week versus the 49ers, who's missing a whole lot of people on offense and defense. I think that final score is like, what, 25-22? So, um... I'm looking for the Steelers to dominate this game because they had a week off and they have uh, one of the best uh, defenses in the game. I think they're number two. But the funny thing is, this will be Pittsburgh's uh, first game against a team that has actually a win. Uh, Pittsburgh have been feasting off of uh, teams that uh, haven't had a win yet, but that's the way the world works. It's not their fault. Play who you play. It's not college football where you make your own uh, schedule. Uh, Titans were undefeated. Pittsburgh supposed to go against them. Um, with Derrick Henry, it didn't happen. But this game is going to happen. Uh, the line is Pittsburgh by seven. Uh... The over is 44. Uh, it's kind of low. Really don't see it happening with the uh, issues that the uh, uh, Eagles are having. These are two top defenses, but like I said the Eagles really can't score. Um, they really don't have anybody uh, back there. So... I got Pittsburgh running away with it. Like, maybe 30 to 7. That's my prediction for the day. Because it's really not going to be uh, that competitive of a game. Sorry, Eagle fans. This way it is. I know people say, I see you with Eagle jerseys on sometimes. Well, I was a big fan of Randall Cunningham and uh, Reggie White growing up, so... I I saw the warm moon. Reggie White was the only other black quarterback I seen playing at that time. So that's why I'm a big fan. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great day.